Hello and welcome to this new EasyRed2 modding SDK tutorial. Today I'm gonna show how to make custom crosshairs that can be uploaded into the Steam Workshop and shared with other players. So, first thing, you have to make or download a crosshair image. You have to make sure that the image has some transparency, like this. So, if you have a background here, the transparency is not gonna cover it. And second, you have to make sure that the size is exactly 112 by 112 pixels. The size needs to be exactly like this. Once you are in the Unity editor, you can put your image inside a folder for your mod. You can select texture type to sprite in case you want to see the transparency inside Unity, but this is not a required step. The only real required thing you, you have to do is to right click on it and choose your easier to mods, textures, setup crosshair. Once this is done, this is the crosshair file that the easier to modding SDK creates for you. You have first to rename this into the name of your crosshair. For example, I will call this my crosshair01. As you can see in this object, you have the crosshair image linked and the texture type set as crosshair. Once this is done, you can put your object inside your bundle. For example, I will put this into a bundle called texture test mod. Now I can proceed with the upload. So I can open the mod compiler and choose my texture test mod. I can see what's inside my bundle. So there is a bunch of stuff from another tutorial. And here we got my crosshair marked as crosshair texture. So everything is set up correctly and I can proceed with the upload inside the workshop. So now we are in game. I have the default crosshair, but now I can pause, go to gameplay settings and choose crosshair style. Here I will have a list of all the local and the workshop crosshair. The name of the crosshair we created is my crosshair01. So here it is. This is the crosshair we made and we uploaded to the workshop. So we can say that the mod is working correctly. This is everything for this tutorial and uh, congratulations for making your first Crosshair mod.